Hi and welcome back. Me again, so T again. Uh, let's finish the modeling and proceed to the rendering and materials. So now we're going to create this. Again, we need a shape like this, and this time we'll do it from a circle. So let's do a circle. Bit like this, I think. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let's go to font and place it in the right position. Should be somewhere here. Perspective. Select this shape and get shape merge. Merge it. Yep. this no I think it's enough convert this back to poly delete this shape unhide it uh, hide unselected go to vertex and again we're going to delete the vertex which we don't need so don't need these ones even with the shape will be not absolutely round. Oh. Doesn't matter. So again just select and backspace. To remove all all vertex which you think we don't need.
temp plus enter set these and text plus. Now again okay, temp and chamfer. Something similar on the other side, I guess. No, not something similar, the same. Deselect temp to select. Simply we'll just use a tube. So carry the tube, move it inside and make it seven. This one convert to poly H so this loop. Sometimes too easy, I think, to explain anything. It's useless. But anyway, I'm trying to tell as much as I can. But if you think I'm talking to lies, tell it to me. Give us the feedback which we want, and I will fix this. Now, select this bottom part, hold down shift, move it down, and rotate by 180. Go to the front, place it here. Okay, perspective. A little too much. 
zoom it a little bit now. You can see almost anything, but not up for me. Move it closer and up inside. Up inside a little bit. Just up. and edge check for this so like this edge and this edge loop it and check to now let's do sphere here uh, big like this place it in the middle Here we don't have to use anything, just a sphere. Now copy this, hold down control, and copy this here. No, it would be nice to do here holes, but you can do them. It would be nice. them <coughs> again it will take some time which I don't want to waste on this I want to finish this now quick no not material I bet let's go to front and cylinder big like this a little bit more outside more forward yeah just forward inside and leave it like this inside the poly Poly like me and chamfer it <coughs> at the end like this. Now a little bit more chamfer, so these and no, just these. This one, this one, this one, this one. 
this all here. Lots of those of these. These, these, and these. Oop. Chanta, too much. Like this. Cancel, deselect these first. <coughs> Select those of these. Loop again, chanta again. Now, <coughs> okay, 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 it's fine. To the left and to the middle. Division back and select this loop, chant a little bit more, and voila. Okay, uh, this actually looks like a school for I don't know. Let's pretend that I know for one and that is actually a screw, so I'm just going to do that a screw. How very easy, very quick, a little bit. Maybe someone will talk cheating, but I don't care. Uh, let's do oh helix. Helix. Yeah, it's Helix. And let's do this, this, and this. Perspective and Z of our Helix. It's way in a bad position. Maybe sixty, and let's do it just like this. Yep. Mm, maybe fifty percent off. Maybe also forty will be enough. Yeah, forty is better. Let's do it here. Copy it. Copy it. Copy it here. And then uh, twelve. I love it. a little bit, but it's the fastest way I think to do this. 
and by rendering uh, the distance nobody will recognize it, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we do this and go plus us, go plus me, the last detail, because this detail will copy here, so we'll just do it once. So control A and move all our shapes to see the reference like this <coughs> okay actually I don't see if this is yeah it's this is connected here here not and the poly uh, the opposite poly control edge chunk it a little bit one is I think too much and now again that poly set like this and in perspective oh let them count extrude them about back and just a little bit Zoom on it, control edge and chamfer way too much like this. Okay, we have this now. Let's do this and at the end, this. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, cylinder. Yeah, you can create this from one object, but trust me take you a lot a lot of time to do it absolutely right how you want and again I don't have much mood to do it like that it's not actually about the mood maybe I will find the time and mood to do this but okay I will be doing that for long and want to have a lot a lot of time and it will take you a lot of time to do this so select the this button poly and bevel it, bevel it outside a little bit, outside more, just extrude and bevel outside, back, control the edge, chamfer just a little bit like this. So this upper poly, these uh, these ones. Again. Now actually I'm just I'm improvising so I know because the, the reference I don't see exactly the details. So I'm bubbling how I want that it will be looking. I'm bubbling now just outside. Again a little bit. Now extrude.
Pulley. So, this pulley on the other side. Inset. Inset. Why it's not insetting? It should work. Again. Inset. Try to move them in the right position. Okay, way back, way back, way back. Here. Okay, let's use this. Select this poly and insert. Fine. Ah, uh, maybe I'll not just try to speed a little bit up. Control A and apply on every four days. Perspective looks it's better already. Now front and uh, select this again and make some parts not so smooth. Like this, 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 okay again. So I select again select this, 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 this. And this loop and chuck like this. Okay, let's model this. Create a box. 
to just do the same move and if you need rotate uh, a little bit oh, it's just moving not rotating so far maybe I will This is pretty easy, like it was before. The only difference uh, between the things before was that this we was doing for multiple objects to save time. So like all these copied, go to left. folks the model is done I think I hope and I think because I don't know what else we could model so let's turn everywhere again okay, this is too dangerous to see so I know ah H4 oh that this object this these edges connect. 
again we have here some crack which I have no idea what is causing it uh, so something here well, it doesn't matter we we'll just fix it like this um, let's apply this here this here and everywhere where we can the subdivision tool because I want to have everything super smooth even that I know that by applying on this old material even one will be enough but I want to do it like this uh, okay Okay, it's done. The trumpet is done. The modeling part is done. I hope I didn't forget any details, uh, but I think not. In the next part, we will do a VIP render, then the materials, environment rendering, and like an appendix, I will do post production in Photoshop and also how to do the weldings tubes so this part is finished I hope to see you in the next part I hope yes you already started to do this and wish you a nice day so see you next time and bye bye